Welcome back everyone to the AI Children's Book Creator version 1 and version 2. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating some updates to this app, critical updates which will make your process of creating AI Children's Books much more simple and more appropriate to be honest. And the new function that we've added is this button here. It's to add a page after the current page. And the reason why this is so appropriate is, as you can see in this book, the AI um, made the pages too long, meaning too much text on each page. And so the total size of the book was basically six pages. Now, this is not good enough because Amazon requires you to have at least 24 pages, even though some of them can be blank. I still recommend you um, basically split the pages up like this and then click save and then add a page which is basically going to create a brand new empty page and then once you uh, kind of paste in the text here you click save what you'll find is that the AI will automatically create a prompt for that uh, type uh, meaning what should be on that page so that once you click on the magic wand button immediately you'll be able to receive an image which is appropriate for this new page automatically without you having to actually like prompt the actual AI. So for those of you who don't know, this app is completely automated. You can create an entire book from A to Z without even pressing a button, just by providing a simple prompt. And the way to find both versions of this app is to click on select an app book, and then you can select from these two options, version one and version two. They're both quite different, but they have the same idea. So as you can see right now, we can see that the, the added page was with a flick of a wrist, she began to draw a beautiful ocean. Uh, with, with playful dolphins, etc. So as you can see, this second page is now uh, uh, working. So now if you want, you can do another page by just cutting this out and then clicking save. And then again, next page, and then pasting that there and clicking save. That way we can kind of divide up the pages as we want. And as we can see, the description's already ready. And now all that's left is to cl click on the magic wand button. And then that's going to create another, yet another page for this book. And as you can see, the character consistency in this book is absolutely amazing. She's wearing blue in most, if not all of the images. And as you can see, let's see what happens in this page. And now the pages are going to have uh, more appropriate uh, images and they're going to be split up better. And for those of you who don't already know, if you click on text on image on this page or on any page, you'll be able to add text directly onto the image. Now, this is done using the power of AI and the AI processes the images with AI vision. Now, AI vision is, is basically something that we've developed. What it is, is the AI looks at the image and it decides where the best place would be to put the text on the image. Uh, you can automate the entire process by just checking this box and then how many seconds would you like before the AI saves the image? I recommend changing this to 10 seconds or 15 seconds just to give yourself a chance to kind of do something and don't let the AI do everything for you because you never know with AI. It's kind of unpredictable at times. It's getting better, but you see, so as you can see, the AI is going to resize the text and place it perfectly. But if you want to change that or, or resize the box, you have as many seconds as you can see the countdown down here in my screen to, to make a tiny few changes that way and then when you click the save button you're finished and if you have automation on it will go on and continue to the next image automatically without you pressing anything for those of you who haven't seen our other videos make sure you watch the instruction manual let me just go back to the book page to show you where you can find the instruction manual the instruction manual is over here you click on video instructions at the top of the page and you can see how it's done from a to z without any almost any works. As you can see, this is much more appropriate. This is way too much text. This is an uh, addition that we added to both this version one and also to the children's book version two. It also has the same functionality. Okay, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Give a like to this video if you like this update so we can continue providing you with more updates. So here you can see in, uh, the app is creating a, a story about a snake. And when you add a page, and type uh, snake eating an apple and click save, you'll find the exact same result that the AI will then create for you a, a prompt for you. And that's the end of this video. So bye for now and see you in the next one.